Okay, I'm going to explain how to compensate for third-party audio interface delay offsets with Pro Tools. What does that mean? Well, unless you are using an Avid manufactured interface, Pro Tools cannot correctly compensate for the analog to digital conversion or the digital to analog conversion during the playback and record process. What consequences does that have? Well, if you are trying to record a live track while playing back Pro Tools, your audio will not be placed correctly on the timeline that you originally played during playback. So it will be a little bit delayed or a little bit early. And, uh, and we're talking milliseconds here. It can be anywhere from just a few to you know, easily 50 milliseconds, which is a, a pretty obvious problem. So I will, and unfortunately, uh, unlike the other DAWs, um, Pro Tools does not have the capability of manually entering in interface offsets. Whether, that, whether that's an, uh, intentional, I'm not sure. Okay, so now I'm going to explain how to figure out what your interface offset is and how to compensate for that delay. Um, first off, you will need to physically loop a hardware cable from the output of your interface back in on itself and record the result. And if I do this on my system here, you can see that the recorded result has a significant delay from the source track. And to figure out what the actual inter uh, offset is, just highlight the region, switch your ruler to samples, and this will roughly tell you what the delay is. Now mine is about 1,280 samples out, and if you want to know what that is in milliseconds, put it to, it's about 26 milliseconds. Now that is a significant delay that is definitely audible. Um, for me personally, anything over four or five milliseconds is completely unacceptable. Um, so to compensate for this, uh, unlike most other DAWs, uh, Pro Tools does not have a dialog where you can manually enter in a delay offset for, for your interface. So you are uh, forced to find third-party utilities that can um, fool Pro, um, Pro Tools into um, advancing the audio output to compensate for this delay. Um, so what I've done is you create a master track for every one of your hardware outputs. And in this example, I've gone out number five here, and I bypassed my, my solution. But um, so this meta plugin, uh, currently with Pro Tools 11, this is the only way I know of to compensate for any third party delays. And let me pull up the mixer here to show you what it actually does. Um, so currently you can see that there's no delay on this output. Now, Meta plugin allows you to manually enter in a offset delay and, uh, and uh, apply it to this, this group of plugins or this audio chain. So you can see on the channel now, this channel Pro Tools now thinks that this audio path creates uh, 1,281 samples of delay, but in reality, there is no delay. Um, this is a manual offset that uh, Meta Plugin allows you to enter, um, but this audio chain is actually not creating any delay at all. So what this does is on playback, uh, this source track will now be advanced 1,281 samples earlier. And if you re record the results, it should now be in time with with the source. So let's just zoom up on this, and it is. Now, I recommend using using some some noise or musical content for actually figuring out what your um, offset is. Um, something that has uh, has some pretty sharp peaks that you can visually um, easily easily visually uh, line up. And uh, you can see mine is pretty much dead on down to the sample. So that that's my solution. Um, it seems a little bit convoluted, but uh, once you get it, um, get it going, just save it as a template and work uh, start every new project from that. Then uh, you're good to go. Okay, so now I'm going to try to show you a uh, real world example of the audible effects of. Uh, not 
compensating for this uh, offset. Now, I'm going to try to play in time with the metronome here. Bass is not a uh, skeleton's preferred skill. So if I deactivate my manual offset here, do the same thing. Results of this are. So if you zoom, if you zoom into the the actual playing that I did with the uh, compensation on, you can see that there's a little bit of a, you know, there's so there's a pick so right on the beat there's a the pick scrape then the attack slightly behind the beat pretty consistently, except for my dodgy playing. So, if we look at this one, yeah, see, so, so you can see that it's pretty consistent that my attack is pretty far behind in comparison to the, uh, my other plays. So, the, you know, like the pick scrape and then the attack is a good, uh, let's see what's going on here. So, I mean, so I know the offset is about 26 milliseconds. So, that little bit of delay, in, compa in comparison to my other one, yeah, I mean, you can visually see that that other guy is a bit late in, in comparison. That is definitely a uh, lot sloppier than what I actually played in time. Okay. Fun. Well, hopefully that will help out uh, somebody out there.